Today we're replacing this main drive gear. What's going on everybody? Alex from Motored Life. I heard something chattering around under my clutch cover. Uh, this screw had backed out of here. So I'm going to show you how to use your gear puller and actually pull this main gear and a couple things to look for. Uh, first, you're going to notice these threads are very thin. So make sure you get this in straight the first time or you'll ruin the threads on here and on your puller. Now, since I actually broke off a tooth of the cog, I can see that that's in there straight. You want to get that tight and deep as you can in there. And then use a wrench and a smaller wrench to hold this while you tighten this, and it'll pull that gear right off. Now, there is a Woodruff key on this gear. Make sure you do not lose it, because it is very small. It's a lot easier with the engine off because you can actually lock the crank shaft arm and get a good torque on there. There's that. You can see this Woodruff key in here. Well, that one's in there. Very small, so don't lose it. And there's a bunch of metal shavings in here from that gear blowing up. So I'm going to clean all that out and get that fixed. All right, we've got a new gear. One thing to look for is the size of that little tiny Woodruff key slot. Uh, a lot of them nowadays are actually coming all the same size, but some of the older ones have a little bit thicker Woodruff key. And as you can see, these Woodruff keys are a couple, just a couple millimeters thick, and that fits right in there like that. As you can see, I actually took out a whole chunk of that gear, so I'm replacing it with one that has a little bit uh, thicker teeth on there. I went ahead and cleaned out the inside of here. I'm going to be taking actually out the clutch completely to clean under it. But for this video, I'm just going to reinstall drive gear back on here. Make sure you're lined up with your Woodruff key. As you can see, this is pretty rounded out, so I went ahead and replaced it with just a, a beefier screw. If you don't have one of these, you should probably get one. It's a manual impact driver. It turns while you hit this end with a hammer. Pretty useful tool. Might not work too well since this bike is still on the, the engine's still on the bike. So I'm gonna give this a couple pounds. Went ahead and put some blue Loctite on those threads actually went back and did that. I've seen a lot of guys use different types of uh, grease and all sorts of different types of things on these gears to keep them from uh, getting stripped and getting hot. Uh, I like using a white lithium grease. Uh, WD-40 has a really good white lithium. It's, uh, it dries. Uh, it doesn't really get into the actual clutch pad. But uh, 
that's how you change over that gear comment like subscribe I'll uh, I'll put links in the description to where to get all these little parts and keys and everything uh, well check back for the next video thanks for watching